Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. For those of you that are new to this channel, if you need a personal reading, you may email me directly. Uh, the email will be uh, below this video in the description box. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please, universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> Extra message. Let's see. Ooh, you're very guarded towards your soulmate. You're showing up here as the most severe queen of all queens, whether you're male or female. Queen of swords with your sword pointing down. <clears throat> You are very guarded towards your soulmate emotionally. Oh, what is going on? The devil is showing up here. So there's something going on with your family uh, members. Certain family members that you feel are causing you drama. You're trying to disconnect from. Yeah. So for some of you, it already happened. And for some of you, it will happen. And you already know how to deal with toxic relatives. We all have them, right? Yeah. There's no such thing as perfect family. It doesn't exist. So uh, anybody tells you that <clears throat> they don't have anyone toxic in their family, that's not true. <laughs> At least one person, right? But it looks like you have a bunch of them and you're trying not to get involved in their drama. Yeah in their gossip, in their chaos, in their fights, accusations. You don't want to get involved because this energy is making you feel sick. You don't you don't feel good. You see this? Yeah, you don't want to deal with the shenanigans. Wow. <clears throat> you love your soulmate, <clears throat> but it looks like they're not in your life right now. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life. And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? So you do love your family members, obviously. Of course you love them, but you recognize that some of them just can't be in your life physically present because they cause you setbacks, they cause you sadness, they cause you heartbreak. Oh yeah, you have a bunch of them bunch of them you see this is you being deeply um negatively emotionally affected by certain relatives and you recognize that they're not going to change because let's be honest people don't change their character right no they don't people can change their look how they appear how they cut their hair how they dress they can even get some botox or plastic surgery whatever they get these days but people don't change their character and as you uh, grow older you realize that they are still the same still causing you drama chaos heartbreak yeah so there's part of you that feels stuck with them it's hard to walk away from relatives right but that doesn't mean you have to see them every day or talk to them every day or live with them or near them right yeah yeah, look how guarded you are towards them. You are very guarded. The most guarded knight of all knights, knight of swords. It looks because your sword is pointing up. It looks like you're going to have to defend yourself verbally and tell them what time it is. You're going to stand up for yourself bravely. Yeah, you will. You're going to have to uh, let them know what time it is. Otherwise, they'll walk all over you again. Yeah. And yeah, the energy is questionable because the devil is showing up here. So yeah, you are correct. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on. What's coming up for Scorpio? Yeah. 
yeah, you feel emotionally drained by some of these people you're walking away from. Yeah, some of them set you back financially. You see very clearly what you need to do. That's beautiful. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. This is you seeing the truth. This is you protecting yourself, standing up for yourself and not allowing these people to walk all over you and blame you for things you didn't do or say. Yeah. Universe, please show us. I'm proud of you, Scorpio. Yeah, this is you being very strong. What's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? Look how guarded you are emotionally. You are very guarded. Yeah, it's hard for you to trust people emotionally. You're protecting yourself. It looks like the soulmate you've been dealing with wants to um, communicate with you, reconcile with you. They want to reconcile with you, but it's hard for them to show emotional vulnerability, express emotions, how they feel. Yeah, you know, we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? They want to manifest you back in their life. So they holding Ace of Cups, which represents their feelings for you with their right hand, not with their left hand. They don't really express how much you mean to them emotionally, even though they recognize that they love you. Yeah, this person wants to come back to you, but they very slow to action. They want to come towards you with some kind of solid offer, not just empty words and promises. Yeah, this person has very hard time uh, communicating effectively, listening, expressing emotions. They tired of uh, their own battles within them. This is them trying to make significant changes in their life to be happier. Yeah, this person realizes that um, they're not happy without you. They don't feel emotionally fulfilled without you. Yeah, you guys are so connected. Six of Cups past lifetime connections, many incarnations you know each other from. This person doesn't really understand the connection they have with you, though. You are more advanced spiritually. Yeah, they don't have um, understanding uh, why they are so connected with you. Past life connections, your souls are very connected. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you. Loving you from a distance, but not expressing it exactly. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. They want to take action towards you. They worried you're going to be with somebody else because they love you. If they didn't love you, they couldn't care less who you're with, right? Yeah, they love you a lot. Look at this. Ten of Cups showing up twice. A lot of love, but not really expressed, verbalized. Yeah, look how empty they feel without you, sad, alone, emotionally unfulfilled with their life. They're trying to figure out how to approach you correctly without looking desperate. Somebody new entering your life, Scorpio. So remember, you have free will to decide who you want, don't want to be with, whether you want this person back if they prove themselves to you a new soulmate, right? Or be alone for a while, that's totally up to you. Yeah, so this person feels a lot of love and passion. They just don't show it, don't express it. Yeah, you see, they realize they didn't put work into this. You didn't feel loved. You didn't feel appreciated. They don't want to fight or argue. Um, so this person feels deeply heartbroken. Yeah, they do. You said something to them that hurt them very deeply, but because you told the truth that they w didn't want to hear or weren't ready to hear. <clears throat> but really, if you said uh, the words you said, it was meant to be said. So they were supposed to hear it. Something you said about them to them that they didn't want to hear about themselves, but needed to hear to realize um, their behavioral patterns, right? Yeah. 
universe please show us so you guys are so connected from past lifetimes that even if you decide not to continue this relationship connection in this lifetime you're going to bump into each other again next incarnation you see you have lessons that you are learning from each other you are definitely soulmates some of those lifetimes you had family together you were in matrimony together look how much guilt they feel over losing you <clears throat> a lot of guilt regret yeah this is them losing sleep over this not being able to move on yeah this person has very hard time initiating communication expressing emotions listening apologizing they need to change all of that if they want a solid relationship Ooh, you tell them off you cut them out of your life you tell them what time it is yeah you were very blunt honest direct they didn't like it but they appreciate you they respect you for standing up for yourself being honest being direct yeah for respecting yourself they have a lot of respect for you look how deeply heartbroken they are this is them losing sleep over this, um, missing you day and night. Wow, this is heavy. Wow, Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.